Hello investors, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to another one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at five potential altcoins to buy on this bull market run. So right now in the past 24 hours, the market is up about 2.76%. Our top gainers in the past 24 hours are going to be Harvest Finance. I've never actually heard of this token right here or this coin. It is up 134.63%. So some massive gains happening in the past 24 hours on this one. So keep an eye out on that one. Let's see what happens with it in the next 24 hours. Highest volume, like usual, is going to be Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's volume is usually, you know, the highest as well. So Bitcoin right now is still trading around this 40,000 area. We've been staying around this area for about two or three days now. And hopefully we're going to break it through, you know, break out through this channel, continue to go further on up throughout this weekend. I hope that we do not get a market sell off during the weekend because that would bring us back to the levels that we don't want to see uh, probably under 35,000. So Hopefully going into Saturday and Sunday, we continue a momentum run on the way up and that will uh, definitely benefit us. Now, Ethereum definitely outpacing the market right now, up 5.5% at 2,400. So we're seeing an Ethereum breakout right there, which is beautiful. And you see this altcoins, the altcoins are starting to break out as well. What type of signal is this uh, you know, showing us, guys? Um, are these altcoins all going to start you know, moving on higher? Very bullish uh, you know, sentiment right here. So very interesting what's going on with the rest of these altcoins. They're all very, very bullish right now. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is staying flat around this 40,000 area for about two or three days now. So leave a comment below letting me know what do you think is going on in the market right now? Are we seeing the altcoins push on higher as the large cap coins stay steady right now? Um, you know, Let me know. But guys, before we get into this countdown, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video, guys. I know we can do it. We're aiming for 40,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, guys, if you want to sign up for Weeble, there's going to be a link in the description. Get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300 when you sign up today. So let's get into it, guys. So the first altcoin is going to be NEO. NEO is up about... 3.1% in the past 24 hours, trading at $35.26. In the past week, it's up 21%. In the past month, it's pretty much trading flat, only up 1% from lows of about $26 or $25. In the past year, it is up 203% from about $13 or so, all the way up here to highs of about $140 in May, which was huge. Then we saw it go all the way down to $43. So, you know, over 60 or 70% of its market cap was slashed, I guess you could say, just in a matter of days as the market, you know, uh, pulled back down. Everything was way overbought. And we saw a market pullback, obviously, as the large cap coins, uh, you know, start to go down. The mid cap and the low cap coins start to follow that same pattern. And as you guys can see, the pattern is going on right now as the large cap uh, coins go up. The mid cap and the um, you know small cap uh, coins start to trend on higher as well. So right now the market cap on Neo is going to be at 2.6 billion. Volume is going to be at 305 million in the past 24 hours. So Neo is a cryptocurrency and a smart contract platform that supports applications written in a variety of programming languages. Fees for deploying and running smart contracts are paid with gas, a separate token that you guys can also take a look into. So NEO is definitely an interesting coin. And if we can get back just up to these prices that we were trading at around $140 or so, that would be a nice, you know, three or four X uh, opportunity and bring this one back to closer to that 10 billion market cap valuation. And that's definitely, you know, something that I could see possibly happening in the next few years. But obviously, most of these are going to be long term you know, outlooks. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of potential in the short term as well. As you guys can see, in the past week, it's, you know, made a bullish run here, 21% or so, which is a decent amount. So that is going to be our first altcoin. Our second altcoin is going to be Ave. So Ave is definitely another popular coin on the channel, guys. This one is up 7% today. It is trading at $318 right now or so. Um, you know, in the past week, this one is up about 14%. In the past month, over 33.59%. And then obviously on the one-year chart, over 61,000% guys this one at one point here when it was trading at $670 in May this one was up actually about 100,000 percent and you could have bought this coin at around 50 cents last October when it started trading so imagine turning 50 cents into $670 I you know honestly everybody has 50 cents and if you don't you could probably go walk outside on the street somewhere and within a few hours or a few minutes you could probably pick up enough change to get 50 cents and that 50 cents invested in uh, Ave could have turned into $670 here at the top in May 17th. So massive gains were made on Ave for any investors that got into this coin on the you know early on. And even if you're still holding it, you know, $300 from 50 cents, still decent gains right there. 
Obviously, we saw that pullback and then continue to go lower and lower all the way to 180 or 170. And then since then, uh, we've been on an uptrend, which is obviously positive. So market cap only being at around 4.1 billion right now. Volume in the past 24 hours on Ave is going to be at 359.3 million. So Ave, this is a, an Ethereum token that powers Ave, a decentralized non-custodial money market protocol where users can participate as depositors or borrowers. Now, depositors provide liquidity to the market to earn a passive income, while the borrowers are able to, you know, borrow cryptocurrencies in exchange for paying a variable uh, interest rate. So Ave is one of those greener coins, uh, better for the environment, obviously compared to Bitcoin or things like that. So that is why it had a little bit of a pop here, obviously, when uh, you know Tesla said it wasn't going to be accepting Bitcoin anymore. That's when a lot of these green altcoins started to pop on higher. Um, you know, And then we saw, obviously, the market pulled back and everything kind of fell with it as well. So that's going to be our second coin. Our third coin, Binance coin, so BNB. Very you know, popular one. You guys should all know Binance coin. It's one of the top coins out there right now. It is up 2.3% trading at $320. In the past week, this one's up 9% in the past month, about 6% or so, so it's lagging behind a little bit. But obviously on the one-year chart, this uh, coin is still up over 1,500%, guys. So this coin was trading at around $20 or so last July, came here to highs of over $690 in May. Obviously, since then, we've lost about 50% or so of our market value, but it did hit lows down here of about... $262 or so in May and we've been consolidating sideways for two months and we're finally seeing a little bit of an uptrend right now so we're hoping for this uptrend to continue and possibly come back to these levels like we used to be uh, just a few months ago now market cap on Binance coin is 54.3 billion volume in the past 24 hours at 1.5 billion so you guys already know this is a cryptocurrency used to pay fees on the Binance cryptocurrency exchange fees painted Binance coin on the exchange receive a discount so another very very popular coin guys one of the bigger uh, larger market cap coins as it's over 50 billion right now so these are one of those uh, large cap coins that i talk about on the channel like ethereum and bitcoin uh this one's only about um you know ethereum is trading at about around 200 uh, billion or so binance coin at 54 billion or so so it is a little bit smaller but uh you know it's getting up there guys so that is going to be our third one our fourth altcoin is going to be stellar lumens xlm this one another low market cap uh this one is 3.6 percent higher today in the past week five percent past month it's actually down two percent or so but it was trading at even down here lower at 19 cents now we're trading at 28 cents right now um in the past year this one is up over 187 percent last july it was trading at nine cents here in may we saw it go to 79 almost 80 cents or so then a huge pullback to the 40s and then after the 40s it just continued to go lower and lower so that is a pattern that we've also seen as uh, most of the other altcoins you know traded sideways with the large cap coins some altcoins continued the downward trend and then we also had some coins that continued an upward trend uh, you know, going against the market, which, you know, is a normal thing. Obviously, it can happen. We have outliers in the market where they don't follow the exact patterns that everything else does. So they're a little bit different, but you can definitely find these types of, uh, you know, outliers in the market. So 6.4 billion market cap on this one. Volume in the past 24 hours at 453.1 million. So this one, Stellar Lumens XLM powers the Stellar Payment Network. Stellar aims to connect banks, payment systems, and individuals quickly and reliably. So definitely an interesting coin with a low market cap. And then last but not least, at the number five spot, we have Solana, a very, very green coin. We've talked about this one many, many times, guys, and it's been on fire today. So we definitely have to talk about it once again. It is up 16%, making some massive movements. It is at $32.16 right now. In the past week, it's up 16%. Past month, it's actually down 5% from lows of about $22 and just like we said 24 hours ago this one was trading around $27 and we've seen this you know momentum play so definitely moving higher in the past year it's up over 1800% from that $1.69 level in July 30th all the way up here to highs of over $58 or so in May Obviously, we saw a pullback here with the rest of the market. Then it continued to go higher, pull back down, came higher, and then pull back down. Now, we're hoping to make that uptrend higher and break through that resistance and continue to go higher even after that. So market cap on this one, $8.8 .8 volume in the past 24 hours at 
522.8 million. So this one is a decentralized computing platform that uses SOL to pay for transactions. Solana aims to improve blockchain scalability by using a combination of proof of stake consensus and a so-called proof of history. As a result, they say they can support 50,000 transactions per second without having to sacrifice decentralization, guys. So what do you guys think about these coins, guys? Um, you know, Solana, another greener coin, just like Ave is. Uh, you know, you let me know in the comments below are any of these coins on your watch list or not. And as always, uh, let's get into the rest of these coins and see how the market is performing. So right now, if we take a look, uh, well, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, pretty much flat. Like we said, trading around that 40,000 area, bouncing back and forth. It cannot break through this 40,500 area. It keeps bouncing right back down. As you can see, pretty much since uh, right here, um, July 26th, so about four days actually now. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it tried to break through this 40,000 area. Still can't break it. We're trading sideways. It's getting, you know, this coil is getting very, very, very uh, tight. And we're going to see an explosion on the upside or explosion on the downside. One or the other, guys. Let's see which one is going to happen first. Um, you know, hopefully we get some momentum and go on the upside. We definitely want to see it break through that uh, 42,000 area. So it's up 23% the past week. In the past month, 10% or so. And then obviously on the one-year chart, over 257%. But look at this huge, you know, uptrend right here that we saw just in the past week. This is a beautiful uptrend, and we're hoping for it to continue and come back to those resistance areas that we've been, you know, in the past. So 754.6 billion right now, market cap on uh, Bitcoin. So Ethereum, definitely breaking out. So Ethereum is breaking out guys definitely nice to see um you know it's kind of breaking out of that pattern from bitcoin so even though bitcoin's flat ethereum said okay it's time for me to make some movements once again just like i was in april so right now it is up five and a half percent trading around this 2400 area um in the past week it's up 19 percent past month 11 percent from lows of 1700 or so so decent gains right there in the past year this uh, coin is destroying it up 621 percent from lows of 350 or so hitting highs of 4,400 4, right here, pulled back down, traded sideways, and now we see a little bit of a breakout. Hopefully, we can come back to about 27, 2,800 level and then break out through that channel that we've been trading for a while. Market cap on Ethereum, 281.1 billion. Obviously, it's still very, very far behind Bitcoin, but we believe that in the future, uh, you know, it will have a flip and we'll see that flipping happen. So Doge, Doge is pretty much following the same pattern as Bitcoin. It's only up about half a percent or so, pretty much flat. In the past week, 7% past month, down 21%. You know, Doge was going to continue this downtrend if the bar, uh, bull market didn't happen. Uh, Doge would have been, you know, pretty much the end of it. I mean, it is the end of it, in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, go, getting back to those $1 levels anytime soon, in my opinion. Maybe not even ever. Market cap, $26.8 I know there's a lot, of, a lot of enthusiasts that believe that Doge is going to reach that $1 level. I personally don't think so, at least not anytime soon. But you never know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years um, in the future, anything can happen, guys. So, guys, those are going to be our altcoins on the list and how the rest of the market is performing. If you guys enjoy this type of content, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're aiming for 40,000 subscribers. And as always, if you want to sign up for Webull, get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Leave a comment below. What crypto are you looking at right now? Are we going to get to that resistance area with Bitcoin above 42,000 or not? Let me know your predictions in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.